Good morning on a Monday. Haven't uh, chatted with you in one of these videos for a while. Uh, here's what's going on. We had the cold front that came in early this morning. It produced uh, about an hour of fairly steady rain. Now it's the typical scattered stuff behind that front. A lot of the live cameras already showing some um, sun breaks out there as well. But this is still a, a chilly batch of air. They picked up two inches of snow up at Timberline already today. Snow level 4,000 feet in the mountains. And, and I think we likely get enough shower activity that the highs tend to hold just shy of 60. I've got 59 uh, degrees on the board for today. You'll notice the showers quickly in this evening, and it still looks like we have a couple of really nice days coming up. Tomorrow, cloudiness in the morning, and then afternoon sun, 64. Wednesday, mostly sunny skies would get us back up to about 73, but then just like that, we get back into rainy, uh, cooler weather. Thursday and Friday look to be two fairly rainy days to me, and then uh, there's a front that comes in Friday evening. So for your plans, it's always good to know when the frontal passage is because you would assume that's kind of the bullseye of the best bet of some widespread rain and maybe the best bet of some noticeably gusty winds. Again, that's Friday evening at this time. Then behind that, the typical scattered shower day on Saturday. I have Saturday, much like today, with highs in the upper 50s. Mother's Day, pressure's on, right, on Sunday? Pretty quiet day. Uh, there is a realistic chance that we will see a few scattered showers, but it certainly looks to be a day that's far more dry than wet with partly cloudy skies and cool temperatures around 60. Um, the American forecast model, what they call the GFS, which stands for uh, Global Forecast uh, System, still loves a lot of dry, warmer, and eventually kind of spring or summer-like weather setting up next week. The other models aren't as aggressive, but if that American model is correct, we would be dry Monday of next week, and then sunny and in the 70s Tuesday of next week, and then sunny and about 82 Wednesday of next week. That would become, if true, the first 80 degree temperatures here in Portland of this uh, year so far. So we'll keep following that story. I, I certainly think, and again, the forecast models aren't really in agreement, but I, I still think there's certainly reason to believe that once we get through this week, at the very least, we'll start seeing more noticeably warm days and we'll start to kind of double up on the number of dry days versus wet days. I'm trying to tell you maybe we'll we'll start to pull out of what's been record wet and, and certainly well below normal temperatures once we get through this week. Real quick, I'm sure you saw the graphic, 5.73 inches of total rainfall for the month of April, setting the record, site-specific record to PDX. Those records go back to 1941. And, and though I didn't make a graphic on this, I, I found it a bit surprising that as chilly as we were in the month of April, I mean, 22 of the 30 days saw below normal mean temperatures. The average high for the month came in at four degrees cooler than normal, not cold enough to make a record list of, of the top five. The low temperatures were about two degrees below normal. And if you think about it, the lows really weren't that bad last month. I know we had the snow, but we never got down to even 32 degrees out of PDX. And the mean temperature, I believe, was around three degrees below normal. Um, and all of that, again, failed to make any top five list for the coldest April. So I found that surprising. Maybe you will, too. With that said, uh, let's look forward to perhaps some warmer days ahead once we get through this week. I'll talk to you soon.